And welcome back everyone to Zap Quack Packs. We're back with uh, some more Mundun. Um, I don't, I didn't do any uh, research on where to go or what to do, so uh, I'm gonna have to. Excuse me. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out where we're supposed to go. Um, I think we need to figure out that whole meat situation back way back um but uh i will uh i will see you guys in a minute we'll get there and then we'll figure out what we're supposed to do i feel as though i have missed something uh like a an ancillary clue to figuring out that meat puzzle thing so i'm gonna run back over here and see if there's something that I can do or something I'm supposed to pick up because I didn't go this way that doesn't look right oh hello do go chasing waterfalls oh okay cool is this uh just like the the Devilman's Lair. Santa? Fuck yeah. Oh boy. What's going on? And... Oh, we're sledding. Right? Are we meant to sled? Nothing. Race? Nods. Okay, uh, how do I, what happened, like, where's the fucking, where's the bobsled? I mean, is it, is it the thing that just left? Cause like, that's, that's gone. I, I've got nothing I can do with that, about that. Do I just go? All right, uh, so I guess I was supposed to run in front of it and here we go. Oh, shit. And we're off. There we go. This is much better. I skipped a gate? What? I thought I went through it. Oh, boy. Oh, did they, did it, like, make me skip the first one? Okay. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, yeah. I, you just gotta be quick on your feet. Uh, this is gonna take me, like, a lot of tries. Because... As you can see, I just skipped another gate. Oh, wait. Yeah, I skipped another gate. Okay. You, you can't skip any of the gates. Okay. Uh, I'll cut out everything until I, I get the, the winning run. So, like, if this one doesn't make it, I'll cut it out. And that way you don't have to see me fail a million billion times. Uh, how do you... Where's the... Wait, I... But I went through that one. What gate did I not win? Get through. Okay. Uh, I guess it just glitched last time. Okay. Cool. Um, so, I, I recently figured out one thing about this game that I was not privy to before I bought it, is that this is entirely hand-drawn with charcoal and pencil. And, you know, looking at it, it makes a lot of sense that that's what it is, but I it just didn't like connect in my brain that that's what was going on. I was just like, oh, these are just like computer generated graphics that someone kind of like just uh, put a whole bunch of numbers in and was like, oh, hey, this is how things are, and you know, extrapolate. And I don't know how games are made or how game design is is done. Uh, am I supposed to win? Because if I'm supposed to win. Was I supposed to win? No. Okay. It didn't matter. Cool. Um, but I have a really big soft spot in my heart for for games that, that are like hand drawn. Like Cuphead is like one of my favorite games of all time. Um, 
Okay, there we go. Well, that was neat. Yeah, if I had not uh, gotten back to the checkpoint, um, I would have been stuck there forever because the, uh, the sled was not... It was gone, so... I was expecting that to be a lot less forgiving than it actually was. Santa? That was neat. Um, I'm... I'm starting to play a lot of indie games recently, uh, and these indie games all have, like, um, references to bigger things. Like, this, the, the achievement coming in here was, uh, do go chasing waterfalls, and, like, obviously that's Destiny's Child, Beyonce, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, editor. I'm, I might be wrong, because I don't know names and, and bands like that. I only know actors and directors like that. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's Destiny's Child, Beyonce. Uh, and uh, just having those little pop culture references inside the game as little fun nods is really is really cool. Um, there's actually a fun little nod in uh, our let uh, our playthrough of It Takes Two that um, I am I am privy of, and I will get to share with David once we get to that point that I'm really excited about. And uh, shameless plug if you uh, if you're watching this. Um, Go watch some of our other stuff. Like uh, it's it takes two. It's a fun, amazing co-op game that, honestly, I think has potential to be one of the uh, nominations for uh, game of the year. Obviously, I can't say it is game of the year because we're so early on into the into the year, but I think it has a lot of great potential. Is that a thing that I can pick up, or is that just glitch? That looks like just glitch. But yeah, go go check out our, our other stuff because uh, that stuff's fun too. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try and figure out where uh, the next clue is. It might be that, but uh, I'll just I'll just cut to it. It's fine. We'll see you in a bit. Transition. Okay, I think I figured it out. Well, I didn't figure it out. I I looked it up. There's this little. Yeah. And then. Well, that doesn't necessarily give me, oh, okay, got it. I don't know how I figured that out. Um, so it's, uh, one, four, two, three, one, one, four, two, three, one, uh, one. Four, two, three, and then one. And then this man gives us a key. Thank you, Mr. Man. I don't know how long you've been sitting up there, but uh, thanks for the stuff. Um, but yeah, now we have a key that I think goes to an area up here. Um, I'll probably see you up there. And we've arrived! Uh, hmm, no handle. We have the key though, so that's good. Is it something that I'm supposed to do in my inventory? Perhaps? Oh, I have two keys now. What do these keys go to? Huh. I don't know where these keys go to. Um. Well. You know what? I think this might be a good stopping point. Um. We got some stuff done. We had some good pop culture references. Uh. I think maybe this smokestack is where we're supposed to go now. Um. But we will. We will find out next time. Uh. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And as always. Stay frosty. Bye-bye.